Jacks. Long-term play for this week. And we are talking about Pandemica number one. Yes, this is the book. Let me tell you something. I feel like I've been talking about this book all day, and I'll tell you why. Because if you go to comicbookinvest.com, you read that um, back issue bolo section. I'm talking about Jonathan Mayberry, the, the writer of this series. If you go to the Indie Spotlight series, it's my pick of the week. Um, and again, mainly because of Jonathan Mayberry. Now, Jonathan Mayberry, if you're not familiar with him, he's considered one of the top ten horror writers in the world. Um, he has won several of Bram Stoker Awards, which is like the Horror Writing Award. Did he and did he's in V-Wars new... also, right? He is that... did V-Wars, yep. He's a multiple-time New York Times bestseller. And what IDW did is they took this guy who writes novel series, and they had him adapt those novels into comics and come into the comics world. First one he drops is V-Wars. V Wars takes off and is incredibly successful. Cover A, cover B is done by Kevin Eastman. You got a one in twenty five and then a one in one hundred, which we've talked about this before. You don't see that from IDW. Usually you're getting that one in ten and seven and that's it. Then he comes back right after that, and uh, the next series is Rotten Ruin. Now Rotten Ruin is his big book series. This is what made him famous. There's like six of these books, um, and they were all like major bestsellers. And I think we're gonna see more from that. Then he comes back and drops um, his take on like a, a, a George Romero kind of universe of characters with, um, I think it's what, Road of the Dead, Highway to Hell. And the interesting thing about this is if you look at these three series, it's a good predictor for this series. Because you got to look at what they've done. Um, v Wars came out the gate and was hot. And now it's kind of dropped back a bit. But people are sleeping on it because I tell you what's coming. A Netflix series. It's already been filmed. It, they haven't put a release date out, but the creators have said that it is very close. It's definitely coming in 2019, and we're already in September. So at some point in the next three months, V Wars is going to hit Netflix, and we know what happens with Netflix. And if if you haven't read V Wars, it is an incredibly um, exciting series. Um, it is uh, it is a I don't want to compare to Walking Dead because that seems to be dangerous, but I'll say at least the strain. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be incredibly successful. Um, and it's got the best platform to do it on. You think follows it up with Rotten Ruin, that immediately gets adapted. Um, that were option. That's been optioned. I think in April. Um, I can't remember what company optioned it, but they optioned it with like that dual option for TV or movie. Cause again, it's, it's a series. They could go, there's a lot they could do with it. And then he goes Road, um, Road of the Dead, which has not been optioned yet. But it's important to note, that book was a hot 10 book when it came out. And the only reason why it's kind of fallen back a bit for cover A and cover B is IDW's got, there's another back issue bolo, IDW's got copies on their site right now of Road of the Dead. Um, and the 1 in 25 incentive, or 1 in 10 incentive sells for $25, and it's just a black and white cover. Now, why did I talk about all of those books before I talk about this? Because it is all the reasoning behind why I believe that this book will do well. I think that, first off, Jonathan Mayberry has the attention of Hollywood. He does short form, and these comic books are successful, and they, they give a storyboard to Hollywood uh, producers. Secondly, he can write long form because he's written these novels, so he can take these comic books and extend them out which a lot of writers cannot do thirdly we get an example of what happens on the market when these books come out and this book that's why i bring up road of the dead even though that book didn't necessarily um do what the first two have done as far as optioning but that's yet i i honestly i think it's just a matter of time um but people will comment on that incentive variant and say well it's just a black and white cover but again Road of the Dead, Highway to Hell, same look, $25. That's two and a half times um, ratio. This story, then I hit you with the solicit. You're talking about a group of diverse people, right? They come together, which we've talked about diversity being important if you're talking Hollywood. That's what Hollywood wants to see. You can, you can give me a crap about that, but that's what Hollywood wants to see. So you have a group of diverse people get together, and they realize that there is like some secret government societies who are trying to kill off portions of our, our, you know, the human race uh, using, like, pathogens. And there's, like, this is systemic. 
and they decide to fight and kind of like group up and rise up against it. Tell me that doesn't sound like a Netflix series. Tell me that doesn't sound like that's that's you can just hear that as an elevator pitch and go, oh, yeah, I can see that. You throw some actors that people know in there and we're ready to go. Um, so when you factor in the fact that IDW is on a run with their creator owned comics, when you factor in the history of Jonathan Mayberry as a writer, as a comic book writer, and as a writer with an ability to sell comics on the secondary market with what his series has done, this is a winner to me. This is a long-term winner. I think it's going to be a short-term winner, but I think it's going to be even more of a long-term winner. So even if this book doesn't perform in the next few days the way that maybe people had hoped, I think that there is a serious play on this book long-term. I have zero, zero doubt that this book ends up getting adapted. I, I mean, I'll go ahead and put it on the line right now and say that this book is going to get optioned. Um, I have no knowledge. I'm not sitting here hitting you with those secret sources. Um, I have no knowledge of that, but I have no doubt in my mind. So if you were to ask me, like, what am I speculating on this week? I'm speculating on this book. Um, and at this point, Jonathan Mabry, um, I'm buying any series he drops because he's three for three with hits. Three for three with series is where you could have made money on him. Because even though IDW still has those Road of the Dead books, that, like I said, that book was a $15 book upon release. Um, and the variant is still a profit maker. So I have no doubt this is a profit maker. If you didn't pick this one up and, you know, I at all made you maybe you missed it, hit that LCS, see if they still got that one on the shelf. And another thing, another thing I think is cool is there's no cover B. So you have that cover A, and then you have that, um, that incentive, which, again, reuses the art. And I think it only gives – reusing the art only gives more value to cover A. Because it really shows you, like, again, if this book gets optioned, what is the art that you're going to see? What picture are you going to see everywhere on Deadline, on The Hollywood Reporter, um, on Variety? And by the way, those are sources that matter when we're talking about optioning, not Cosmic Book News and, um, you know, We Got It Covered and certainly not Hype Beast, um, you know, places like that. This is That's what you want. That's the cover art you're going to see. It's I would pay attention to it. Um, check out those articles. Uh, check out the back issue Bolo where I go into more depth about those other other series. Check out the Indie Spotlight series. Shout out to my man Andy Tomberlin where I said this is this is my pick. Um, I'll go ahead and go on the record with this one. And I just want to say I love the trade dress switch where you get the um, the uh, red, white, and blue flag cover. I think it plays really well um, with the black and white cover. Um, so I think it gives a little color pop to an otherwise, you know. It is what it is, black and white cover. But that is why this is my long-term play of the week, on a week where a lot of people are paying attention to Venom, a lot of people are paying attention to King Thor, a lot of people were speculating on first appearances and like Miles Morales and stuff like that. This is my pick, and um, I have a good track record with these IDW books, and I feel good about this book. Yeah, I like how the baby on the cover is like in full mop gear, ready for yes. nuclear fallout. But... Uh... It yeah, lets, you know, lets you know right from the cover what's going on here. Yeah. And also, make sure if you want this, make sure you check out one and you check out slabheroes.com as well as check out frankies.com because that frankiescomics.com, excuse me, because they have both had those available up there if you were looking for those. Um, so definitely check those out. And now.